there are a couple of last points I would like to make about combining capacitors. One of those points is that when you combine capacitors in series, the capacitors do not each get the total amount of voltage that the battery has provided, but they do each charge to the same amount of Q. If, for example, this positive plate had a charge positive Q and this plate did not, then this plate would draw negative charge from anywhere in the conducting material that it's attached to. The negatives would accumulate up here because they are attracted to this positive charge. In fact, we could argue that's why this plate down here becomes positively charged is because the positives in this little section of conducting material from here to here, the positive charges are repelled from this positive charge, which itself is positive because it is attached to the battery. So this accumulates negative charge until it equals the amount of positive charge up here, leaving behind a positive charge down here that produces the same negative charge here, producing the same positive charge here, which is convenient because this negative charge is getting its charge from the battery. So we want to emphasize the Q in series, Q1 equals Q2 for each, equals Q3 equals Q4 for however many capacitors you have in series. And since the charge Q is equal to the capacitance times the voltage, that means capacitance 1 times voltage 1 equals capacitance 2 times voltage 2, etc. for however many capacitors you have in series. And I do want to emphasize the voltage of the battery will equal the voltage that accumulates on the first capacitor plus the second capacitor plus the third capacitor. These three capacitors together will add up to the amount of voltage that is provided by the battery. In parallel is a completely different situation. In parallel, the battery provides the same amount of voltage to all of these capacitors because the positive end of the battery is attached to the positive end of every capacitor in parallel here and in negative terminal is attached to the negative side of each of the capacitors. So if this is a 12 volt battery, then that means there is 12 volts across the E field in this capacitor, and in this one, and in this one. It should also be clear that the total charge accumulated across these three capacitors will be the total charge of this one plus the total charge of this one plus the total charge of this one. They don't have equal amounts of charge unless they happen to be identical capacitors. This is not information that I think you'll be using to solve very many problems in this course. It's not something that I would expect you to need to memorize um, or know off of the top of your head, but it's good information to have in your notes because there is a difference between hooking up capacitors in parallel versus hooking them up in series. And having that information someplace that you can access it readily is a good idea whenever you're studying circuits. Okay, that's all for this video. And in our next series, we will talk about uh, conducting materials and how the materials do conduct electric charge in a current